Hello guys and welcome back to yet another AMC video. I don't believe I've ever seen something as corrupt and screwed up done to a stock in my life. We have a great deal to discuss with AMC. So make sure to view the entire video so you don't have to watch another YouTube update video. Please click the like button. And if you feel I deserve it, the subscribe button so that we can reach 14,000 subscribers. Let's begin watching the video. Counsel for the defendant argued, among other things, that AMC had a compelling business need to raise additional capital to pay down outstanding debt obligations. Plaintiffs and lead counsel understood that AMC had a significant need to raise additional capital and that continued litigation, regardless of whether a permanent injunction was obtained, could jeopardize AMC's long-term health, resulting in substantial harm to class members. Plaintiffs and lead counsel became concerned that continued litigation, even if successful from a legal standpoint, might result in no actual recovery for the settlement class in light of this conclusion and general litigation risks. Now that I've thought about this for over a week, it's time to lay everything out for you people. I tweeted this and would like to send it to the judge eventually. However, I am interested in your opinions as the entire retail community that owns AMC should have a say in whether or not I am correct in this assertion. Hence, the AMC vs. Allegheny lawsuit. Now, in order to save itself, the company initiates a reverse stock split to raise capital. At least 99% of the time, this holds true. Now in this tweet, I state that I will not comment on whether or not the vote was manipulated legally, as that is a matter for the court. I am not requesting that you retract the query regarding whether it was rigged. However, the delay of this, the delay of the conversion, and the reverse stock split precludes the company from at least temporarily attempting to save itself. If the endeavor to raise capital is delayed, I request that a and c not be shorted until a verdict is reached, and that any shorts that have been borrowed since the contest, e since the lawsuit, be returned. Now, this is my proposed statement that I would like to submit to the judge. The reason for this is that if a company cannot attempt to save itself and issue a reverse stock split, manipulated vote or not, then it should not be allowed to be shorted during the delay. Do you people agree or do you guys disagree with me? During the delay, we can have unlimited declining price action without the company having the right to save itself. If you halt the lungs, you must pause the shorts as well. Continue on. Due to managerial concerns, Interactive Brokers no longer allows the purchase of AMC one-call contracts. This week, they also eliminated the cost of borrowing. AMC one-call contracts and AMC one-put contracts include AMC and APE, in case you were unaware. This could indicate that they are preparing for conversion or it could indicate that they are in a difficult situation, and you could compare this to what they did in January when they took the Bible. Regarding the removal of the purchase button, they essentially did the same thing with Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond is sell only, which means that you can still sell your position through the app, but you cannot purchase additional shares. Brokers such as the Revolut app via Drive Wealth no longer permit the purchase of merchandise from Bed Bath & Beyond. The purchase button has been deactivated, but the stock is still listed. Now, this is not the only instance of misconduct involving Bed Bath and beyond that I wanted to bring up. We have a few more points to discuss. IMAX reports that the first month of the first quarter is their finest ever. This will provide insight into AMC's performance in the forthcoming release. This is an excellent indicator that you can extrapolate to AMC as they will attempt to steer the narrative that movie theaters are performing poorly because Cinemark is performing poorly. However, they cannot do so when IMAX is experiencing its finest Q1 month ever. Observe the ticker symbol now. Mullen. Ticker symbol MULN. They announced today that they are taking certain proactive measures in response to the extraordinary trading volume and evidence of an unusually high number of short sales that were not delivered, as conveyed to U.S. authorities. Among these measures is the hiring of outside counsel, which is collaborating with shareholder intelligence services, also known as Share Intel, to conduct a comprehensive analysis of data derived from broker dealers clearing firms, and other sources to provide actionable intelligence on potential market manipulation and illegal short selling of shares. Intel provides exclusive access and insight into shareholder position changes by proactively monitoring equity flows and identifying suspicious trading activity. Therefore, 
Mullen joins the struggle against the illegal short selling of its stock without protection. Unusually high failures to deliver, and they are using intelligence to accomplish this. We'd have witnessed this practice by other businesses. Keep a watch on Mullen because they could experience a similar surge depending on how far this similar ticker symbol goes that day. However, keep in mind that Mullen has an options chain and that many of these stocks with options chains are forced to the floor and prevented from moving. Nevertheless, with the eyes on all of that material preventing it from moving, Mullen may have an unpleasant pop. You people informed me of what? You discussed this in the comment section below. Currently, AMC is trading at $5.52, an increase of 3% on the day. And I believe this has a lot to do with the movement of the S and P500, which we will discuss in a moment. However, ANC is evaluating both the red top trend line of the parallel channel and the white top trend line of the parallel channel, which is the much more aggressive scale. AMC should be monitoring the cycle depicted in blue and white beneath the graph. And honestly, over the next couple of weeks, I do not anticipate AMC to do anything but ascend to the upside, whether aggressively or gradually. The Aldozen cycles are propelling AMC forward in this manner. This is my outlook for the future of AMC. I believe it is extremely secure to purchase call contracts at least one month or several months in advance. Not a financial advisory service, I'm not a financial advisor. In my opinion, this is all that I am doing. As for GameStop, we're experiencing a transient uptick based on the trend line we've drawn, and it's playing out similarly to how Gray is experiencing a temporary uptick. Next week, I anticipate that GameStop will break even lower than the gap fill at $18.30, possibly falling as low as $16.30. As for AMC's stock tracker, there are 600,000 shares available to borrow at a 199% fee for calls to puts. However, we are losing on the options chain. There are 23,000 calls versus 44,000 puts expiring in the money on AMC's options chain this week, as well as a significant increase in bearish wagering. And the options chain filled for May 19th is also bearish. However, there are still many bulls wagering on AMC call contracts. Overall, folks, before we wrap up this video, we'll discuss the AMC Ortex percentage of 26.24%. Short interest utilization maximum cost to borrow is 350% on average, and the same percentage applies to a short interest maximum of 5.19% on 853 loans. Percentage utilization and the CASPA not being reported globally. That's what I have for you, fellas. Hopefully, you found the video entertaining or useful. On your way out, be careful to subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. Love you all.